Hey guys, um, here are my cousin Corey. Say hi, Corey. Hey. I don't know if you could hear him, but anyway, in my last tutorial I showed you how to make a 3D room. Um, just looking around on YouTube, I just now learned that Sony Vegas has a parenting option, so this could really help with that 3D room thing or really any other shit. Basically, I'm just going to remake that 3D room tutorial, but I'm going to be using parenting instead. So, let's open up a new project. Import a texture. We'll use uh, whatever the fuck this is. Hey! Hey, okay, that's enough. I enjoy music, but it's a little inappropriate. Anyway, um, back to it. I'm gonna drag in this uh, texture. I'm gonna go to Event Pan Crop and change Maintain Aspect Ratio to No. I'm gonna change the compositing mode to 3D Source Alpha. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to in the Track Effects or Track Motion and change the Y to 90. I shut up. I want a No, you don't. I'm going to change the X to negative 100. Now you can see we have a wall. I'm going to bring the Z back. <laughs> I die. It's about negative 50, probably. Just so there's not a black spot right there. Okay. Now that's set. We can drag in. Let me rename this. You should be one of those flight attendants. Me? Yes. Why flight attendant? Because your voice is beautiful. Thank you. I kind of disagree, but I think most of my subscribers would too. But it's thank very you. Strong. Thank you. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Okay. Anyway, now I'm gonna go to the track motion on here as well, and I'm gonna change that to 90, and then I'm gonna change the X to probably positive 100. Whatever the hell. What was what was this one? Negative 100. I'll change that to negative 200, and I'll make that one positive 200. And now is the cool part. We can uh, go right here and it says make compositing child. So basically this is going to become the child of whatever is above it. And it kind of indents over here. So now we have two new options. We have parent compositing mode and parent motion. If we click on parent motion, I can come right here, change the source alpha to 3D and I can play around with this and whatever I do here applies to any to the parent and all the child shit so I can uh I didn't want to tell you this but rotate that what? Your dog with you but I'll find you. dude go so with you and sexual contact with my dog anyway that's enough <laughs> I'm just gonna restore that now I'm gonna um, add in the ceiling and floor and back wall so just dragging textures, make it um, compositing child 3D source alpha. Go into its personal track motion so you can uh, mess around with the what should we call it? Its personal um, 3D. So, but this one is I'm gonna change the X to 90. That way it changes. I'm gonna mess with the not the X but the Y. Change maybe 100. Hold on, my dad's here. Hi, Dad. Huh? What's up? What's well, awesome? Is he coming back? I was going to pay him a yeah. little bit for helping Yeah, me. he's coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. Alright, now you know. When is your parents coming? Dude, yeah, tomorrow. They said they said they're coming down Tuesday, but you know, they're probably going to stay at my papa's. So. So, um, mom, tell you where the sleeping arrangements are gonna be. Mm-hmm. Y'all going downstairs? I guess so. Clean your room. So, I mean, you need to probably tell also he stays at grandma's and. Uh, okay. I'll pick him up and bring him to the beach in the mornings when I go get gas. If he want, you know, if he wants to hang out. I don't know, I mean... Sorry about that. Anyway, what we're going to do is Sorry. we're going to 
H. We're going to play with the Y until it's at a position where we like it. I think 200 is pretty good. There's our ceiling. Now we can, uh, I'll name that roof. I'll do the same thing again. Make it a child. I'll name it floor. Go into its personal track motion. Change the X to 90. And the Y should be a negative 200. It's going to be the exact opposite as the roof. So now, I can go into this parent motion. And one more thing, one more little bastard. I'm going to make the back wall. Make it 3D source alpha. Make it a parent or a child. I mean, go to its track motion. And really, all you got to do here is bring the Z forward. Or not forward, but up until you get somewhere you like. I'm going to get 200. 200 seems to be like a good number. And here we go. Now I'm going to go back to the parent motion over here. And anything I do here happens to the whole thing. So I can uh, make the Y here maybe negative 13 or negative 10. And make the X positive 10. Or positive 20, 15, there we go. Now I can go over a few keyframes, maybe a second. Cheer. Shut up. And change that to negative 15. We're not, fuck it, I'll just play around in here. I want to get precise. You can even mess with the Z rotation. mess with the Z position and you can zoom in. Oh, a little fucking too much. See, now I have this synchronized, a lot easier way of making a 3D room. Now I can go over a few more seconds. Shh. What'd your mom say about talking like that for? She said I get so Exactly. Yeah. Understood. And now if we play it, yeah. it's not, it looks okay. So what I can do is I can highlight all these. I can right click them and select smooth and it'll give me a little bit smoother play. Now the only thing I want to do now is go to the very end where my clip ends which would be right here and um, I'll just use something like restore box restore it to default so when I play it yeah. it'll just slowly zoom out and it goes perfect now I can go add some bullshit logo here somewhere Drag it down here. Who's this asshole? It's back wall. I'm just gonna name this. Forgot to name it earlier. Back wall. Fuck you. There we go. Now this can be a child as well. And I kind of like its position already, so if I play it. looks pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions, leave a comment or message me. Probably won't respond, but hey, it's okay. I'll respond. Corey's a lonely child. And if you just want, like I said, if you want to personally play with uh, maybe the logo's position, you can go into its personal track motion right here and you can move it where the fuck you want it, rotate it some maybe, I don't fucking care maybe move it back as if it's actually a uh, on the wall negative maybe negative 200 that's going forward so if I do 199 yep 
$199 and will be perfectly on the walls if it's a sticker. I'm just kind of rambling now. But that does look cool. It kind of looks like it's a graffiti or some shit. So if uh, you wanted to uh, make like a wall with graffiti on it with your logo as the graffiti, you can make the track motion and play with the Z and make it just a uh, one one little uh, number less or more than the wall that it's on. If you're following me, like uh, here's the back. It's on the back wall. So if we go in here, it's Z is 200. And on my logo, the Z is 199. So that's it. I'm gonna render this and play it at the end of the video, and also play it at the beginning. And that's it. How long have I been recording? 10 minutes, 50 seconds. Corey, anything last? Any last words? No. No. What a dick. I thought he would at least have something to say. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, favorite, share. I don't give a shit what the hell you do. Just watch the video. Thank you. Bye.